Good morning. We're going to continue to look in Genesis and look at Abraham this morning. And uh, we're going to look at a time that we sometimes do too, probably in our lives. And that's when we think we need to help God. God doesn't need any help. He gives us the plans. We have to be patient and do everything in God's timing. Here we find that Sarah uh, is getting impatient of not being able to have children and wants to help her and Abraham out, so she thinks that she needs to give Abraham her mistress and her, her maid and help them have children to get this process started of which God has said that they'll build a great nation and um, all the pro covenant promises that he had given them so far. So let's look at uh, Genesis 16, verse 2. It says, So Sarah said to Abraham, The Lord has prevented me from having children. Go and sleep with my servant. Perhaps I can have children through her. And Abraham agreed with Sarah's proposal. So they did just that. He went and slept with her servant. And they had a baby. They named him Ishmael. And down the road, Ishmael is the start of the Arab nation, and that Arab nation becomes a thorn in Israel's side for many years to come, all the way up to this day. And so we have to be careful. God did not prevent her from having children. He just did not think it was the right time yet. So he had not allowed her to have children in his timing so that he could receive glory. He could prove to people that even in the, their old age, he could help them have children to bring glory to the name of God. So let us learn from their lessons. When God gives us a vision, when God gives us a plan, let's not get ahead of God. Be patient. If God has told us, it will happen. He never goes back on his promises. So let's make sure we learn from that. God bless you. Have a great day.